Hello everybody, how are you? And welcome to Powered by the Moon 7. If you're here for the first time, awesome. Please stick around to the end. If you're here before, I really appreciate it. We got new things in store over here at Powered by the Moon 7. Real quick guys, go to my TikTok. I will be doing uh, one question reads going live now. Um, very excited about that new direction. I got, um, well, I got a little marketing team going on that, you know, is helping me. So I'm gonna be building over here. I'm going the directions they're telling me, start the Instagram, the TikTok, then here. So I will only target anybody in the spiritual world, dealing with tarot, Reiki, healing, stones, whatever. I'm not out to get a million followers. They have nothing to do any interest in this, okay? So guys, we are here to do all the water signs. Water signs, I have started using crystals with words on them, healing stones. As I connect to them, I put them in this box, which I got about 50 to connect to, but we're gonna start doing full readings with these things. I love it, my clients love it. Um, so what I picked out of my box for you guys, we're gonna lay down, and then that's what our, um, what we got, uh, to, what we're gonna focus on. Um, so whatever's upside down, whatever we get upside down is what we need to maybe focus on what is not there. And then what's upright is there. And, you know, we'll still read on that because we don't want just readings of the bad. Okay. So for my water signs out there, Scorpios, Cancers, and Pisces, we are going to get to this. Okay. I will at the end, go ahead and do a little scorp reading, a little uh, Pisces and a little Cancer and separate it, okay? So let's just get started. Where are we at? Where are we at? Spirit led by God, guided by you. All right, well, you have love, you have courage. That's awesome. You have happiness and wealth. But let's go where you, okay, you need to learn how to believe and forgive healing protection accept and oh no happiness is over here all right guys so from what i'm seeing here you guys have love that makes you happy it's abundant it's uh you you've had courage to step into this um and it brings you a lot of happiness, a lot of, and you know, wealth does not have to be money. Wealth can be, you just are so happy that you feel abundant enough. You know, my, my wealth stone is my abundance, okay? Um, let's see, what are we gonna use today? Let's go with these guys. Um, and then over here, guys, I see what's happening already. Um, a lot of you need to accept something that's happened. Um, bring some healing to it to protect your energy and for and to forgive this person and by forgiving this person actually i should have started there accepting what happened forgiving them believing your yourself to heal yourself enough to protect your energy all right so something's went on that made you uh stop believing in certain things and they make be things that people say their actions they're doing Stop believing in um, things that you're doing. Uh, love. Stop believing in, you know, it. you're not in a scepter. Is maybe you feel you're not meant to be. Maybe somebody's made you feel that you can't even, you know. And for some of you, you may not have love in your life, but you have friends and family that are around you that love you a lot. So you're happy in abundance with that. And you're having courage to go ahead and accept all this because you want to bring the healing. You want to bring the forgiveness, but you need to accept it, to believe it, to do it. If that makes sense to you guys. I can't wait to get more of my stones out, but right now I'm only pulling a handful. And then eventually once I got all of them done, we're doing full spreads. I love it. I love this new little thing that I'm doing. Okay, so um, that's that. 
So we know we need to focus. I was gonna move these, this cloth off, but I guess I'll leave it. It's the moon when I got it. I thought I grabbed the star. So what is going on in Scorpio's energy with this? What is going on? And there may be a love around you that you're having a hard time accepting because of past things and you don't believe in this new love. But either way, you got a lot of courage. You had courage to walk away from something it looks like. You're happy, you're abundant, and, and what it is, wealth is wealth. So if it's money, that's great. If it's, you know, you just feel happy and you got just enough that the universe is providing for you and that makes you happy, then you feel abundant enough. It doesn't mean that you have to have a million dollars to be wealthy. No, wealthy is, you, you feel you're content with what you got. And you don't always need to constantly have more, 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 more. And, uh, you know, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay. So I wasn't expecting that to be there, <laughs> but I'm not moving them either because our focus is on those. Right. So I don't know. I may have to figure out something different than this cloth. That's irritating. <laughs> not irritating, but as a Virgo, it's, you just can't have it moving all over. What is in the energies? Okay, guys, six of cups. Okay, I wanted to continue, but we're gonna bring it out. It was in reverse. I like the six of cups. seven of coins I think you're done uh, wasting your time and investing in something that you know I think you know you're feeling more healthy and wealthy over here with whatever the situation is that you're not returning to or somebody's not returning to you you put the shoe on the foot that fits it me I'm a size nine I know when that shoe fits Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I oh, love seven here. Seven might be important to you. Seventh month, maybe July, something's going on. But it looks like, you know, you're ready to start the fight for this, you know? or guard whatever, you're coming out of. See, that's good. I see the hermit in reverse. You know why? Because that's telling me you're ready to stand up and fight for something that did not work out that you know is not good for you. You're investing in yourself and your options that, are, that you have. And see, this is wands, but I see cups there. So this is kind of making me feel like it's a cup situation. But I see pentacles too, so you're wanting to invest in your the fight that is worth fighting not something that's not because it's not worth unicorns butterflies and rainbows over here in reverse it's not worth it so then you know you're gonna fight but you're, what you're doing is you're coming out of hermit. So maybe you've already been dealing with this for a while and it's just taking you a while and I can see that's where, you know, these stones came out of accepting whatever happened, happened. And you got to believe in, you know, the healing that you can do. But the only way you're going to find that healing is through the forgiveness. And it's protecting your energy. You know, when you could... Somebody's ego might be in the way. And I wouldn't even dare to say... I'm going to dare to say it's yours. Okay? There might be some pride. They got in the way. Um, why I'm saying it's yours, I don't know. I just felt that. If that's not the case, then that's not the case. And maybe you're coming out of the fact of your own ego and pride of this. And that's why it's saying, accept. Maybe your own ego and pride could not accept that this situation didn't work out. 
Hangman, you're stuck. What are they stuck on? Yep, look at Hangman, Two of Swords, that's a stuck energy. But look at, at least you're showing yourself nurturing and stuff. You just don't have the clarification. You want some sort of justice. And what is this justice? happy you need to accept something though to forgive it for the healing of the and you need to protect whatever it, you, this per, you want forgiveness you know this is in reverse it's fond memories it's you know good friends whatever it's for me my reconciliation card and you're making that call now you're coming out of hermit you're putting your ego your pride down you're stuck you've been stuck on making this judgment call, which is second chance. But you need forgiveness before you can. You gotta forgive this person and accept whatever happened or them for who they are or whatever went on to, and believe that it's gonna be okay and you two can put the healing to this. Yep, you're manifesting this. Star, you got hope. A lot of, oh my God, look at this. A lot of love, but moving slow towards it, okay? Guys, watch this pride and ego, okay? I feel like that's, and your pride and ego is what's stopping you for forgiving and believing in this situation that it could be healed. I mean, have courage, yes, but too much pride, too much ego. For years, my Facebook quote has been, you know, put ego aside. You have to put ego aside. Listen to your intuition. Forget the ego. Paraphone. This is a spiritual um, blessing. This is a spiritual connection. Love. Oh, look at these two gems. A king of cups and up. I've seen that like six times, the king of cups. So this is a very slow moving thing. That's a water energy too. Knight of Pentacles, there it is. Is it going to finally fall out? I'm going to make it because the Knight of King of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, I keep seeing. All right, but slowly because you are coming out of a mental entrapment from some situation that you're accepting at this point. Okay, you've probably been a little cold, a little distant. Having regrets. Um, upset. Anything else here? Will they come out of this? Yes. Two of swords. Crossroads usually upright. You will come out of this, okay? You will make a decision that's best for yourself. And the situation you're in the middle of making that judgment call we saw judgment it's just not yet you don't know yet okay so i said um will they come out of it yes you will that's usually um someone be turning into codependent or it's meaning that you're going to come out of being single Okay. All right. So I want to do Scorp real quick. Then Pisces. Then Cancer. Let's go for Scorpions. Scorpion. Scorps. Let's go. Love I got guided by you. What is our Scorps up to out there? Little short read here for the Scorps. What is going on for sports in, gen, in the collective? I I can't do this. Maybe I should. I don't want to glue it down because I have different ones. I don't know. I mean, this is just 
my table for tarot. So maybe I should put some Velcro on the back of all these and dump it down on the table. Or I'm finding something different to do. I already know what I'm gonna do. Let my back guide by you. And it's gonna happen the next week, to be honest. Air signs is what I'm filling in my blood after this. I actually started the first video saying air signs and then you guys popped up so much. I said, let's do it, okay? You feeling happy in your homes and in your uh, relationships? Ten of Cups, like that. The babies. You might be courting somebody. There might be a lot of romance between you and somebody else that isn't burdensome. Last one out. Let's go for Scorp. Let's go for Scorp. Last one out. Guys, check your cross watchers. See if you guys resonate with any of it. Um, I'm going to be putting those out this week, too. I'm almost done with my work marathon <laughs> that I've been on. So, let's go. Let's go. For Scorpio, what is going on for Scorpio? Today's the first today. It's that summertime. I got to get that hair done. Uh, okay. That's cute. That's, I like that. Nine of Swords immediately for Scorps in reverse. You're coming out of your head. Um, you're, you're, you know, maybe you're actually in the courage state in accepting this, okay? How is this? Okay. You're coming out of your head and you're thinking about your judgment calls. You got Six of Cups. You may be returning to somebody, reuniting. Now, it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a job. It could be a friend. It could be... Yeah, because you have some regrets there and some sorrow. Five of Cups. You got any of Five of Cups over here? Two scores. What's going on? But you're out of that nine of... At least you're not up with anxiety. You're accepting, which accept... And realizing that you have some regrets built around this, okay? But you're in a Ten of Cups. You're happy. You just have some regrets and some sorrow, maybe, of the way things ended. Look at these. These are shattered in this picture. Maybe things shattered or, you know. But at least you're at, not in the Nine of Swords. That's ugly. I don't like the Five of Cups either. But I think you really want to reconciliate. Why is this Five of Cups here? Why is Five of Cups for Scorpio? Yeah, you're not asserting yourself. You're not coming forward to this person. Now you get the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Like, what in the heck? It's not going to make you happy if you don't... All right, so usually we get happy as tarot readers when you go from a seven to an eight. You guys are going from a nine to eight. You're still in your head about this. You're still up in your head. You're not, it's not full blown anxiety. Nine of swords, every tarot reader wants to say up late at night. Well, to me, if you have anxiety over something, you're constantly thinking about it, you, you, it's day or night. Same with the mental prison. But you still have hope surrounding it. You're carrying the burden of it. You want to give it to it more. Kid of Wands. You want it to go into a new passionate uh, direction, though. Something that feels new. Okay, now your Six of Wands is upright. That up pair was down low, so you got your pride and, ch and your ego in check over there, Scorps. Good to hear. Let's go. Last card out for Scorps. What's going on? Last card out. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so you need to put more action into what it is that you're feeling and what it is you want um, and go after the uh, opportunities that you do have that are right in front of you. 
right in front of you. This will make you happy to do so. Okay. You may feel a little victimized, a little burned because of something that wasn't ego give and take, but you are now manifesting this decision and you are going to make this decision to invest into something, somebody that a king of, oh, king of pentacles, ace of pentacles, that's gonna have that new beginning with you. Yes, eight of cups of reverse walking back. All right, this person's gonna become more stable in your eyes. Maybe they weren't. There was no, there wasn't a lack of balance here with my six of coins in reverse, okay? But you're manifesting this decision that you want to make. You want to make it. You don't want the other person to. And that's fine. Okay. All right, let's go on to Pisces for Pisces, please, Spirit. Let's go. Let's see you guys. Please go to my TikTok. It's only powered by the moon. I'm going to be doing live readings over there. One question answers. I do a daily morning check-in. I like it. I didn't know I was supposed to go to the TikTok crowd first. <laughs> oh, we got a shuffle. Yep, thank you. Led by God, guided by you for Pisces. What's going on in their energies? For Pisces, what's going on in their energies? Let's go. For Pisces. What is in their energies? Pisces. Okay, right, you're gonna come out like that. Okay. Okay, so you're putting down the fight to somebody to you know somebody that um you're you're letting go of a fight of somebody that feels that they could come in and out of your life, act the way they want to act, and you're done. Five of Wands, Knight of Wands in reverse. It might have brought some passion, but it's like totally draining the passion out of you. This situation, person, or thing. Okay. They're like taking the passion right out of you. Oh, because they're sneaky. They may have been lying and deceptive. Not cool. They had you in a three of swords, broken heart. You're moved on though, you're moving on. That's good. You made the judgment call to move the hell on. I see that. They may have been a third party. I've seen a lot of threes, guys. Third party doesn't mean that it's a person, like a love situation. It could be family, friends. It could be drugs, alcohol. But I'm seeing that there might've been an interference here. But they were sneaky. But that seven of swords is lying. It's sneaky. Yep. And this it's something that, you know, they're sneak, being sneaky and deceivious with their soulmate. You're having strength to go get a brand new beginning. You're not going to nourish this relationship at all. Nope. Here's your six of cups in reverse. Strength. Uh, Empress in reverse. No way are you nurturing this. Knight of swords. You're not going nowhere near that. You're staring up at your four of cups wondering. And you don't want that offer. I do feel them trying. They want your forgiveness. But Pisces, like, I feel like you're really happy where you're at and what you're doing. I see the struggle as a collective with the water signs, but as far as your reading goes, you say, I'm done. I'm done. I'm putting the five wands in, in reverse. I'm putting my key, knight of wands in reverse. My passion's going to go out the damn door because this person was sneaky as hell as my soulmate and a soul bond connection. I'm going to chase it out of you. Seven again. Wasn't it up here? Seven. What's going on with you, Pisces? 
with the sevens. Okay, so you're guarded against this soulmate now for being deceptive and sneaky. And you stand alone on it too, and that's fine. You got some people around you though that are aiming darts at you that is not cool. What are, the, what are these people that I'm feeling around them? People that aren't happy that you're going to go and move into calmer waters. People that can't have you. I mean, I look at it in the Six of Swords. Like, usually it's moving towards calmer water. You're very calm about it. You're moving away. But do you see all the swords coming up? That's the same as all these damn wands that are being thrown against you. So you've guarded yourself. See all the wands at the bottom going against this? They can't stand that you're moving away. No, they somebody betrayed you. Death shit with Emperor. No, you got to go from this person because what? You're the Queen of Wands. If you're the Queen of Wands, then yes, you're getting the hell out. You're not dealing with some fuckery of the Emperor and this Ten of Swords and victim and getting everybody up and around and have they heard your story that's always the funnest part have they heard your story that is always the funnest part to sit back and realize pisces have they heard your side have they listened to you or is this person just ran around and talked all kinds of gossip but you chose to be mature and sit in your your power and be like well if they they want to know the truth or my truth they could come to me otherwise they could go believe what they want but they're causing, you know, they want to cause drama in your life. They want to shoot darts at you and put obstacles in your way, but you're moving on. And I love it because it's victorious. You are moving on in victory. Yeah, because you were brokenhearted. You're done with that, honey. You knew. You knew this person was disloyal in some way. They done got everybody involved. But yeah, you know, you're not calling around all these people to tell your story, right? But the people want to believe what they want to believe. And then, you know, death. You may be dealing with the water sign of Scorpio yourself. Judgment. Wow, guys. I like Pisces readings right now. Oh, come on. Let me all the way over there. Yep, you're leaving toxic behavior. I feel not only just a person, I feel people. But I feel it's because this person went into this full mentality. You're a narcissist and they're such a victim. But nobody listened to you and they got angry with you. Not knowing the whole truth. I don't react anymore unless I know both sides. Because I think it's bullshit. And it's always so funny. To hear the other person's side. It's really comical. So good for you, uh, Pisces. Let's move on to Cancer. Cancer, what's going on in your reads? I think your cross watcher was a little crazy. If I remember correctly. Let's go for Cancer. What's going on with Cancer's energy? Where's Cancer's energy headed going? What's going on with this? What is going on with the moving slow? towards making a connection. Will they? Will they not? But so far, we've seen Squirt's going to try to re-engage in this, but we see Pisces, I don't know. No. I mean, somebody's built themselves a little mini army. And Pisces, like, Let's go for cancer. What is good for cancer? Oh my gosh, guys, this thing, I'm done. As soon as this reading's over, it's gone. I'm figuring something else about this stuff, about where I'm going to put my stones. And here you come, cancer. Thank you. Welcome to your reading. <laughs> Wanting to show this unconditional love. Wanting to have that courage to show you, to show this situation unconditional love. You're not there yet already. I know you need some healing towards it and forgiveness, okay? But you're willing to look at it as the Queen of Cups. Yep, with a lot of strength matches the courage. I'm loving your guys' reading the most already. 
you're giving us the strength to go at this with love and light. And, you know, um, I feel you're not... You are going to wrap up this cycle and you're working on it. But I feel in my heart, guys, that you're not wanting this person to be hurt. And that's cool. Yeah, will in reverse, ace of cups in reverse, knight of wands in reverse, two of wands, and the fool. Yeah, guys, you're not moving forward with this love at all. Um, you are making the decision to take a leap into a new direction. But the cool thing is, guys, is with the strength and the love thing there, you're showing this person the love on the way out, okay? Um, which is a beautiful thing because it, that doesn't happen all the time. And, you know, I'm so soft and gentle through this read because I've been kind of just, you know, frisky uh, weirdly all day and um, sarcastic. But I am because the way the strength and the Queen of Cups came out, you're, you're showing this person a lot of respect. You're having a lot of dignity through it, okay? Um, but you will not be wanting this back at all you have made the decision to go into a new direction and you don't even know where you're going but you're just going okay is this reverse you're on the defense a little bit you are so you're going at it with love but you do have a little bit of the defense it's to the side don't put it up because there's a little bit of defense there i don't feel those wands are aimed at you like i did for pisces There's the world card. Yeah, you're not, you're, you actually are um, not feeling the regrets of it. And you're working on what I saw at the bottom of the deck. I just got. So you are going to come out of that five of cups that the general is there. You are going to work on completing out this cycle and starting a new one. I love that this is hot here. Okay, guys. I really love that. This two of wands and this fool in this world is here. It means you're completing out a cycle. Just made the decision to complete something out and move into a whole beautiful brand new uh, cycle. And you don't even know where you're going. You don't know what's going on. But you're loving. You're caring about it. You're feeling free about it. Okay. I wasn't done. Okay. Yeah. Moving forward. Come on. Good for you, Cancer. I'm happy. What is the message? What is the last night? I think that was a great ending. What, what is going on? What do we need to see for Cancer? Devil. Why did this get all. Who's the devil? What is the toxic energy? Money. Maybe money destroyed this and you just said, okay, this is what I gotta do. Okay. Or you're wrapped up in money and it's become a toxic thing for you, okay? However it resonates with you. When I asked, this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So it's a lack of money, either on yours or the other person's part. And that's why you're like, I'm just going to shed this love and exit. And I'm not going to have regrets. I'm going to make my decision to move forward into something positive and beautiful. And if it's you without the money cancer that made this toxic, that did this, you know, broke this with this relationship. It was for your best interest, okay? Because anyone that wants to choose some money over real love will probably stay in this, okay? Five cups. You, on the other hand, are choosing to not have regrets. But if you do have the money, you still don't have the regrets. And you're just letting that person know that, hey, 
I have this, this, and that, and I want this, this, and that, and I gotta go because, but I love you a lot, and I don't want bad blood between us. We just chose to, you know, it seems like, okay, this is a story I just got. It seems like some of you may have some money, some ambitions, and you two have talked about the um, direction the two of you are going to go. And I kind of feel, to be honest, it was done with um, such that you split it amicably. You were able to say, well, that's not the direction I wanted to go and that's not the direction I knew we were going to go and oh, well, you don't want to go in that direction, then I, and you know, it was a decision. It wasn't a tough, to, easy decision. The two of wands there next to the fool, you've decided that this relationship is not good for you, or they did. And I do feel it has to do with somebody else's ambition or their their lack of money or, some, or someone having more. I don't know. But when I asked, it showed me the ten next to the devil, the, the pentacles, ten of pentacles in reverse. So somebody had the lack of that. You didn't feel the abundance there or they didn't. And things were growing in separate directions. And that's all right. But I feel you too. I don't feel them mad at all. I feel like this was a very mutual sit down discussion, loving caring and that's why you came out as the queen of cups in your energy because you can give this love all right guys let me know what you think about the stones go over to my tiktok i will start that this weekend i will be going uh live over there so you'll be able to get my notifications i think <laughs> i don't know well i'm learning it um anyways check out my monday morning feels over here and uh, check your uh your uh other signs I'm about to do air, earth, and fire. Um, be blessed, be well, and bye for now.